Good morning, guys. Kelly here. I am going to... <laughs> I'm going to do a reading for the sign of... <laughs> Gemini. I did a reading for Gemini yesterday. I don't even think I ended up posting it. It was just just a quick, like, six or seven minute reading. So, uh, but I was pulled to do that reading. I don't usually do Gemini. So, this is going to be a Gemini reading. We have a couple that popped out already. Tower. Seven of Swords. Okay, I did an energy reading this morning in these... Also came out in the energy reading. So this could just be, you know, this may be similar to it. But anyways, there was a seven of swords, something done in the dark. Something uh, possibly could be Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Swords are just, uh, you know, like a sword in the back or communication or something done in the dark here. Lying, stealing, cheating, something to do possibly with money. Uh, and this tower is going to illuminate this, what was done in the dark. That's what I'm guessing. For the tower to be coming on the Seven of Swords, this could have happened a while ago, but but you never got clarity on it or you never, you, you haven't heard much about it. So now maybe people are getting their karma with the tower. Coming down, we got a page of cups and then an ace of cups. This could have been about this ace of cups. Somebody could have uh, tried to affect this, this relationship or they did so by doing something you know, shysty or something done in the dark, something that threw you, just threw you for a loop. Like, this is something uh, that a tower is when this this brought you to your knees. You did not expect this. Um, you could be this, you could be this loving child like Page of Cups here. Uh, very, have a lot of love and both of you could be like, um, and I, I'm saying this is a couple because I mean, this could be like, uh, a couple love coming from the universe after this happened, but I, I just feel like this tower Could have been about, like, you know, some, could have been about this Ace of Cups. That's how I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it like that. Because Seven of Swords, I've never seen this happen. I've never seen in my life since I've been doing tarot, the Seven of Swords and the Tower coming out right away. They usually come out, but not immediately. So, the this Tower's coming down. This Whatever was done here is going to be illuminated. And this Ace of Cups could be the tower. After, you know, like if there was some kind of breakup because of this, you got a person coming in with a cup of love here. And this is like the best. That's like the most love you can have, the Ace of Cups. Then we got the lovers. This is about a decision, right? And then we got the indecision card. So the, that could have been, somebody couldn't make a decision possibly between two and the tower had to come down because of this. Uh, Divine had to step in. The lover sometimes is about, you know, it, yes, I'm not saying this is not a loving couple. This sometimes could be about like... Uh, a decision, you know, more or, or the lovers, you have to decide, right? 
if you want to get married. You have to decide if you want to be in a relationship. So somebody couldn't make a decision. And that the tower, this could be a tower moment now that this ace of cups, they want to bring you this ace of cups now. This is cut and dry. We got interference here. This could be, okay, because I say interference because this person is controlling this couple. This also could have been a, a toxic mindset or addictions that were, you know, involved in, in this relationship that, okay, or... You're dealing with the Capricorn. And this is illumination. The sun illuminates whatever was done in the dark. So the, I, I feel like the it's already the tower already brought the clarity of what was done. So I feel like you already know, or you guys both already know what was done to affect this this union. But this tower moment may be this ace of cups. You may not expect this Ace of Cups after this. But this is like Leo energy. This is like wish fulfillment, clarity, uh, dreams coming true. With that. I mean, you can't get any better. When you get the Sun card, it's because you've already went through the, all the lessons, basically. The Sun card is like illuminating whatever w needs to be brought to the light. Somebody wants to give you the world now here with the, the world card coming out. This also could have been something that was on social media. Ace of Pentacles and Justice. Wow. You're going to get your justice here. Things are going to be made fair. And that's the truth with that sun card coming out. Four of Wands, somebody wants to give you... This is your soulmate. This is uh, wish wish fulfillment here. Possibly could have a page of wands, uh, or you could be a page of wands. Very unique, very uh, uh, trendsetter, uh, creative. And then we got the queen of wands. So yeah, this tells me that you you are a very creative, uh, passionate person. You could be this fiery energy. There could be a message coming in from a fire sign. Or you could just have, you guys could just have a lot of fire in your chart. Even if you're, or even if you're not a fire sign. Uh, that's just like an energy. Excuse me, my no runny nose. It's gross to do that. But uh, I knew I wasn't feeling good and very like overly tired for the past week or so now. Now I got the, like, the runny nose, like, uh, like the sinuses releasing. It's annoying, but I'm, I feel better, so. We got a Queen of Wands here. Somebody definitely put unnecessary burdens onto you or your person. I, I'm saying unnecessary because I feel like the, these burdens were intentionally put onto this relationship. Um, maybe you guys could be a powerful couple that people just didn't want together for some reason, or maybe it just wasn't the time. And now you got an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. This is like definitely someone who wants to have success with you. Red could be significant here. We got a Queen of Swords. You could have went into this Queen of Swords after this uh, Seven of Swords for sure. I mean, that doesn't even su surprise me. Or it could have been this Queen of Swords who caused this Seven of Swords. Oh my god, I was just going to go like this like a kid to, to wipe my nose. One second while I grab a tissue. Thank you guys. Okay. Okay, we got a Knight of Cups here. That's a solid loving offer here. This is probably about the, there's a Knight of Cups, there's a Page of Cups, and there's an Ace of Cups. So this is definitely somebody coming in about this Ace of Cups here. That could be this Knight of Cups here. This is, a, like I said, a solid 
This is a safe salad. There's a cup of love sitting there. We got a queen of pentacles. This could be... Okay, so we got three different queens out. So either you're embodying Empress ener energy or there was a, there could be, there could have been a third party. I'm not seeing that though. I'm seeing you embodying all four queens. The only queen that isn't out um, is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups came out first in the energy reading. It doesn't, uh, I, you could be the Queen of Cups and, and still have your pentacles, you know what I mean? Let's just keep going here. Regardless, you have a Ten of Cups here. That's the ultimate. Look at, maybe you're going on a vacation, I wanted to say vacay, um, where there's a fireplace and you're just going to have like a retreat. Close off from the world with this Ten of Cups. That's gorgeous. This Ten of Cups is probably going to be the tower for some for somebody. Yep, there's the Ten of Swords. This this came out in the energy reading t today too. So, well, I mean, don't does it even surprise you? With the Seven of Swords, it causes. An Eight of Swords, which is mental, like, how, why did this happen? What? How did this person do this? Like, a mental confliction. Then the Nine of Swords is more about healing after this Seven of Swords and getting stuck in your head with the Eight of Swords. Then the Nine of Swords, you start to heal. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and then... I mean, they're, it actually goes backwards, okay? The Ten of Swords is done, then you go down to the Nine of Swords, you're healing, then you get, you're you usually in your head about what happened with the Seven of Swords. I was trying to explain it, and then I realized the pain goes down. When you get this Ten of Swords, it goes down. You, you start to heal after it with the Nine, then with the Eight. Sometimes people get stuck in their head, because if it was bad, you know, it's hard to get through. It could take it could take some people up to three, four years to get over a heartbreak or a betrayal. Uh, like for me, everybody thought I healed really quickly and I blocked it out for a year. So I was a year behind because of that. I, I tend to do that. I don't like it about myself, but it's how I roll. Then when I do go to deal with it, it's not as bad. But for me, I feel like I healed really quickly and then I kind of went backwards after a year. I started getting in my head about it, thinking about it. But that's what no communication can do to a person. Like, that's what being ghosted and not getting uh, clarity, that can do that to somebody. It could, it could keep you stuck in your head for a very long time. Don't let it. That's why I'm bringing it up. Uh, I some days have to do 10 to 15 different things to get me out of my head over what happened to me. You know, but, and, that, and that this is not meant to be a negative thing because this is a positive reading. You got a lot of love here. I'm just talking about how hard and difficult it can be sometimes. To heal. Sometimes you think you're healing and you're like, you're healed and you're all better and then, boom, this starts coming back up in your head. Divine had to step in here. Uh, temperance, or you balanced and transmuted this energy, like I'm talking about. You balanced, transmuted, got your, your shit together, uh, but Divine definitely did have, have to step in here. We got a King of Cups, this could be okay. 
I'm trying to see if this is you or your person. We have a Knight of Cups, so this King of Cups could also be this Knight of Cups here. I'm just waiting. This uh, King of Cups here could have been in this Knight of Wands energy, this, uh, this player-like energy. That could have caused some of the, you know, Seven of Swords, too, if somebody was in this player energy. We got Taurus, um, Hierophant. This could be about a commitment. And then we got the Two of Cups showing up right after. And this is the card that I was talking about here, this Eight of Swords. So after the Seven of Swords, this is how you look. You know, you're just stuck. You're just blind. You were blindfolded. You're d you don't know what to do. You know, that's what I was speaking about. I don't see the Nine of Swords, but it went from the Seven, Eight, to the 10. We got the 9 of Wands, though. That's like saying the battle's over. Uh, this is like a defeatist card, too. You could feel defeated. You could feel really tired. But, but this is good news. All that light coming through the back. That battle is over. The tower already came down. This Ace of Cups is coming. And didn't I see the Four of Wands, too? 11-11. 11-11, Ten of Cups. We got possibly uh, Commitment. Two of Cups. Judgment. Victory. This is Victory. Looks like Archangel Michael. Protection. Could have a Knight of Cups, uh, Knight of Pentacles coming in. I said Knight of Cups. Maybe this Knight of Cups is this Knight of Pentacles. Look at the gold. That's just, this is a solid, that this, uh, Pentacle, that this person's holding this all armored up. So I feel like, you know, the armor's on because of what happened here. This person could be watching you now, and we do have an Emperor. Even though the Empress didn't come out yet, we got three different queens here, so that could be three different women, or maybe this reading is more about, you know, showing that you're getting your justice and that this Emperor wants to come in and bring you this Ten of Cups. You could just be showing up as this Queen of Swords because you've been through so much. I'm not sure who you are in this story. You could be this Knight of Swords even. Um, a lot of Gemini energy here. We got a, Here's the new beginning, though. The new beginning on this Ace of Cups. This is Aries energy. This could be uh, starting from ground zero, restarting. Passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. This is somebody from the past that you already know. Your soulmate possibly with that Two of Cups coming out. Then we got the Cancer energy. This could be happening in Cancer season in July. Or this is just happening very quickly. Um, this could have been... There could have been a lot of back and forth, back and forth, uh, in the, you know, like, uh, one day somebody was in, one day somebody was out with that Knight of Wands ener energy. I don't know why I'm getting that with the two horses, the way their heads are all over the place. Okay, we got a King of Swords now, so we got, this could have happened to both of you. Sometimes when the yeah, and the King of Pentacles. So well, I already knew that all the kings were gonna come out because we got the Emperor. But look at double clarification that Divine had to step in. I have two of these cards in the deck, but for two of them to come out, so we got a King of Pentacles here. And then there's that Ace of Pentacles. So it's probably this King of Pentacles 
Well, we already know that's the Ember. Okay. So Divine did have to step in, and I do finally see the Empress. After this generational wealth card, so that's 10-10, that's completion. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, can't get any higher than that. You got an Ace of Cups, you got an Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. The only Ace that hasn't come out is the Ace of Swords. So maybe you haven't got your clarity yet. But the Empress is here. Uh, we have Aquarius energy here. This is uh, about transformation and death and rebirth, too. Somebody could be working on their money, and guess what? It didn't have to come out right after I said it. It came out. Thank you, God. So, you got all four aces here. Wishes coming true, guys, for you. Who did I say this reading was for? <laughs> I forgot in the beginning because of the way this... Oh, Gemini. <laughs> all right. And that's uh, all about communication, clarity. There is an eagle on here. That's leader. Oh, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna look, but collaboration. Collab. Someone wants to come in and collaborate, work with you after, you know, wants to come in and work on this wish fulfillment with you. And that's the truth. All right, guys. Hope this helps, Jim. And I have a great day. Uh, if I had an oracle... Oh, wait. I don't have an oracle card. But I do have homemade <laughs> initials. I thought I made these. Okay. So, this is the first time I'm doing this. Um, I just kind of made these. Th these are months. So, this could be somebody. This will give you a clue of whose birthday month or whatever. What month this may happen. And then I have some initial cards. So, let's just see for shits and giggles what, what comes out with these initials. And even if, Holy Spirit, is any are any of these initials meant to? To come out. Alright, well. This stayed in my hand. D. And then there's a J on the back. This A is popping out at me. It's, oh wow, double. So somebody could have an A in their name. A. X could be an R. This doesn't have to be like the first initial. This could just be somebody with this initial in. And what else popped out is a B. And on the back, I have red or purple for the colors. And then there's a P that's showing up right, a P. All right, and then for the months, let's just see what I get, if, if any are meant to come out. Maybe not, well, September. September or October, so something could be happening in September or October, or something... Somebody's birthday could be one of those months. Oh my God, how funny. June, and that this is a Gemini reading. So September and June could be significant here. All right, guys, hope this helps Gemini. Have a good one.